Hi guys and welcome to the LA vlog. So, first of all, we'll excuse the state of both of us. We have had a long ass day. I basically, we've basically been traveling for like 13 hours at this point. Um, uh, don't, feel, don't feel too good at all. Yeah, we're, not, we're, we're starving basically. We haven't eaten since this time yesterday. So 24 hours ago was the last time I ate any food apart from a lotus biscuit on the plane. Basically, long story short, got rushed to the airport, got on the plane. Plane was supposed to take off at 10 and we was in a bit of a rush. We didn't get breakfast or anything and then sat on the plane for two hours because the pilot was late or something. So didn't I take think, off. I think like Nashville, when we was flying to Nashville, to Nashville, to Nashville when we got from, delayed. Yeah. That was actually a better than being sat on the plane and being delayed. Yeah, so on the way to Nashville, I don't know if I mentioned this in the Nashville vlog, but we was delayed, but like in the airport. So it just kept, we were sat kind of in the airport. We were sat at the bar and it just kept getting like totted back. Whereas today we was actually like sat on the plane and couldn't get off of the plane. Um, and then it's a five and a half hour flight from Miami to LA. So all in all, we were sat on that plane for like seven and a half hours which is basically the flight to, like from London to America, like to put it kind of into perspective. Um, but yeah, anyway, so we was kind of fine. We, I've, I've got into Vanderpump Rules. I'm obsessed with that now. I watched pretty much half a season of it on the flight. Uh, what did you do? Play games? So you did actually, you so watched two so episodes of it, didn't you? Two episodes and then I tried to sleep, couldn't sleep, played, played, played solitaire. Games. Um, but then, anyway, they've come around to like serve drinks and food and they've got to us and they're like, we've got no, like no food left. All we've got is biscuit, like lotus biscuits, um, which we was only allowed like one each obviously because there was no other food. So again, on our flight to Miami, we had this lovely lady. She gave us like seven biscuits each. Um, so we're starving, then land at the airport and we wait forever for the bags to come off and then we've rented a car so this is our hire car for the next week great car actually stunning, stunning car. car it's a audi q7 cases in the back so i'm driving a truck passenger <laughs> princess <laughs> got my heels I'll, on <laughs> i'll drive with my hand like this <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, this is the life anyway yeah we've hired a car and um on the confirmation email it had like no indication of where we had to be or where we had to go oh you're or so far whatever. sad am i so um anyway i saw this like shuttle thing and i knew you had to get a shuttle to the rental car place because i hired a car here a couple of years ago when i was with my friend Paige. So I remembered like having to get a shuttle. Anyway, got the wrong shuttle, ended up miles away, got an Uber to the desk. And then here we are, picked it up. It was all fine. It was actually run very smoothly considering car hires are like renowned to be a pain in the arse. They're probably giving um, a better car than what we should have got as well to be fair. Yeah, we, had, we were booked to get like a BMW X3. X3. And um, yeah, we've been given an Audi Q7, I mean, she said that to me and I was like, Jamie, is that the same? Or like, are we getting ripped off? But it's a lovely car. Um, great, if you ask me. Yeah? Yeah. I feel like when you come to LA, in and out's like one thing that you've got to like do while you're here. Um, so you've got to experience in and out. I'm about to, I'm at the doors. So it was going to be very cloudy and the sun is shining skies trying are, to skies are the sun blue. is trying to get through so we we appreciate that and then we're actually staying in an airbnb it's our airbnb of the trip reason behind i actually wanted a washing machine and then we're going to go to either like target or whole foods to get a shop for the next five days because and we're going to miss the basketball because that's in 45 minutes well, to be fair, we can do, um, yeah, we want to watch the the next round of basketball. 
So the check-in was a bit dodge, <laughs> but we, we finally found it. And this is our little Airbnb. So I don't know, in here, got some space. Through here, bathroom, shower. A big cupboard in here. Is this the light? Oh, no. Don't know where the light is in here. Is there a light in here? Yes. So it's big in here. Proper little walk in wardrobe. Um, and then out here, this is what we wanted a washing machine because I can't wait to wash all my clothes. And then the bedroom, the main bedroom, TV in the room. There's a balcony out there. Then you come back through, dining table, living room. We're trying to find the basketball, but TV there, cute little bar. And then this is the little balcony. I don't know if this is open, but cute little balcony. Cute view down there. But this is just perfect for us, really. It is the next day. It is 18 minutes past 10. We had a nice little lion this morning. We're not going to lie, we're a little bit upset with uh, the weather today and for the for the rest of the time we're in LA, it just looks like it's thick cloud the yeah, whole we time. Too early, yeah, we peaked too early with the weather. So I'm currently debating. I've got this like, I don't know if you can, you can't really see, but I have these like Zara trousers on <laughs> and this Zara top. Um, but I don't feel like I can wear a jacket with it. So I don't know whether to put jean shorts on and a jacket over the top. Um, because I've got a feeling I'm going to get a little bit cold and I'm also not really feeling my hair very much um, I don't want to curl it every day because obviously that's terrible for your hair so I've literally just dried it and put it up in a claw clear but just these front bits are not not really doing them what I want not really doing what I want them to do I did a whole big wash in our washing machine earlier so I need to take that out of the dryer but that feels so good today oh it looks like we're in England but I've had a complete change of outfit because I stepped outside and realized how cold it was so instead I've put cargoes on and a leather jacket He's braving it, which I think he's stupid, but um, if I hear that you're cold once today, I got no pity. This is our pretty high car for the week. She cute. Oh. <laughs> Come on, drivesy. I'll tell you where I want to go. Yeah, she got it. <laughs> Lovely, lovely, lovely song. So there's a recommendation for you guys. Something in the Orange by Zach Bryan. Beautiful song. Uh, Jamie's just running to get the coffees and then we're headed to Rodeo. Um, Jamie early was like, shall I wear something fancy? So they serve us because he's like got pretty women in his head. We we're actually planning on heading to Nobu today in Malibu. But we've got we've got like wishful thinking that it's gonna brighten up maybe over the next couple of days and if that's the case we'll head over to Malibu then um, and we're just gonna try and do the things that you don't necessarily need sun. Um, but yeah, in our like little agenda today we had like a beach afternoon and we was like, okay, well our whole afternoon's just freed up. Um, so yeah, that is our plans. We are actually going to Six Flags, the theme park, um, on Monday. So 
we were planning on maybe doing that today or tomorrow but it's the weekend so we thought it would be ma like majorly busy i want some new coffee orders i currently my current coffee order is an iced latte with simple syrup i was like for years an iced caramel macchiato girl and yeah i've been converted to like just an iced latte with simple syrup which is literally just sugar syrup but i don't know if you guys follow taylor blue she literally gets like a new starbucks drink every week and like tests them out and i'm always like oh, i need to like try new coffees because there's probably coffees that i like there's probably drinks that i do prefer here he comes with the coffees no that's okay thank you jimmy everyone in miami because they're all spanish was Jaime. 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 Uh, so yeah, a grand latte, classic syrup, iced. Stunning, what did you get? Caramel macchiato. This is also a really nice song. Very Spanishy. It's actually nice for a bit further along, but. It's the most Spanish it. English song I've ever heard. It is. It's Mariah Carey, did you know that? It's not, it's Louis no, Salon, but. She, it's a cover. <laughs> is it? Really? Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Ready, ready, best bit. You'll think it's really nice. Look where we've come. Cheesecake Factory bread is the best bread ever. We've got a happy boy that's done some shopping. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. You want a few more minutes on the menu or you think we're ready to order? Lemonade, which Jamie loves. And not to mention, he's got a great view of the Champions League final. Yay. I don't know if the lighting's very good or not. However, we are off to dinner. This is one of Jamie's purchases of the day. Give us a spin. Two, Give us a twirl. Ah, oh, two. Basically, Jamie had these trainers. They were filthy dirty. Yeah, but, well, if you've shown what I've got one dinner before, true. they're basically all I wear because my favourite shoes. They are. They were filthy and. They are his most worn trainers. So they're nice and fresh. And then give us a twirl. Nice. Like it. And then this is just a Zara white dress. And then, just because I love to cash dresses down, I've put on this PLT grey blazer. But if you are on the hunt for a grey blazer, this has got to be my most worn, like, item of clothing, just in general. And then, the Prada heels and Prada bag. And I'm not driving tonight. I've got a, I've got a, tr a journey off. <laughs> but we are actually off to have dinner at Craig's tonight, which is a restaurant I've never been to before, but everybody says like when you go to LA, you've got to go to Craig's. So I'm excited to try. Thank you. Craig's was really nice, guys. Really enjoyed it. I had steak and very good steak. Oysters again. We are I had oysters again. I've just got a thing for oysters at the minute. Do you know what it is? They don't fill me up. I, I drown them with vinegar, like the vinegary shallot. I don't know what goes onto it, but whatever does works because it takes the taste of fish out of the situation. And then it doesn't fill me up. And then I had a really good steak. We had a fantastic bottle of wine. Yeah, all that. Sunset. Bottle of white wine. Um, and yeah, Jamie had calamari, shock, no change there, and um, a pasta, so we really enjoyed that. Good morning. Good morning, Sleeping Beauty. Good morning, Sleeping Beauty. Um, so, this is our current view. We are at Six Flags. Oh, it's gone a bit blurry. Magic Mountain. We're not going to chat about the weather. We're just not. Yeah. No. We was driving here and it started to rain and we was like, fantastic. Um, 
but every shop assistant was like this is the worst weather LA's seen in ever pretty much like they've had just months and months of cloud which is not ideal but nobody's fault um we went for dinner at craig's last night that was the last thing i think i filmed and i'd say one of my favorite meals this trip the food was really good the service was really good it wasn't like super overpriced or anything like that so that would definitely be a recommendation if you're coming to la do you agree it was very very nice yeah not too spenny no really impressed with craig the day at the theme park for us so i'm wearing the same skims bodysuit that i wore in new york and just a blazer i look very dressy to go to a theme park but i didn't really pack for cold weather so it was just i had to put a blazer on because it would be the warmest thing and then i've also got a hoodie no i've got a hoodie with me as well and then james in shorts and a t-shirt um did you bring a jumper no no you so stupid day at the theme park for us we're a little bit lost well that as well but we were just trying to figure out this place we could either sound so dumb or this could work out really well for us and we're not sure which way this is gonna go basically there was a little stall for Hyatt the hotel Hyatt and she called us over and she was like you look like a nice couple basically we're willing to give you a free holiday and we was like ah that old chestnut huh? <laughs> like yeah yeah right why and she was like basically all in the catch because she was looking at us and we was like what's the catch and she was like the catch is basically you've got to go down to san diego and do a two hour tour of like one of our New hotels resorts resort. like golf resorts and we offer it to couples and basically I'm tight of breath because we're speed walking, so sorry. But she was like, basically, people end up buying a membership and that's what we get out of it. So we was like, right, so do you want us to buy a membership? And she was like, no. Basically, like, it makes no difference to us. You still get your free, like, trip if you don't pay for the membership. Just means you need to go down to San Diego. So we was like, oh, okay, fine. We was like, we was genuinely thinking of either going to Palm Springs for the day or everyone says to us san diego is so beautiful so we was kind of like is it meant to be like Shots out of breath. Shots out of breath. <laughs> it's hard to talk and walk up a hill yeah we're now going to san diego tomorrow to do a tour of this like golf resort to get a free seven nights in there was like a list of places like mexico was one vegas was one jamaica, jamaica but we can use it like for the next year um, so we'll let you know how that works out. <laughs> um, probably going to get scammed. Yeah, we're probably going to get like kidnapped tomorrow or something. Yeah. But they seem pretty legit, pretty trustworthy. So well, It's a job to be fair, but we'll see. We might go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're just a bit like, what the hell? <laughs> we might look a little bit worse for wear. It's been a long day. But we found the sun. It is golden hour. red apple by the looks too it's still red <laughs> um we had a great time we had a great time at the theme park best theme park you've ever been to yes by some distance it is good. sorry flamingo land yeah sorry for <laughs> park but it's a good time <laughs> Fort park that's a good flamingo land anybody, in, yorkshire. in yorkshire would know that flamingo land i don't know it's got a zoo there's no zoo there's no zoo there's where no i zoo. went today so um but yeah we had a really good time and but now I'm going to watch the sunset. God, it's so bright. We're really not hungry, to be honest. So I think we're just going to go back after we've seen the sunset and watch Vanderpump Rules. I'm so into that in a minute. I've just started it and I am hooked. But yeah, it's very, very pretty. Oh, Purposely bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, it wasn't, was it? It wasn't, was it? <laughs> okay, so it is 20 past 8 in the evening, and I'm getting ready for bed <laughs> because we're tired. We've had a long day. 
so I'm just getting ready for bed and taking my makeup off. But, we were saying earlier how mad it is that you adjust to the time difference. So like, in Miami, it's 20 past 11 at the minute. Um, and here it's 20 past 8. And like I do just feel like it's 20 past 8. But yeah, we are absolutely exhausted. <laughs> from walking around the theme park. Luckily, we didn't make any plans for dinner tonight because we just knew that we'd be knackered from the theme park. So, and to be fair, we've not eaten dinner. We're not hungry. So, I think we're just gonna play it by our We bought some like cereal and stuff um, from the shop. So if we get a bit packy shit, we'll just have a bowl of cereal. Six flags was, a lot of fun. It is a great theme park, honestly. It's like four sort of parks mixed together. Okay, this is just the element pleasure around my life. Do you want to do some skincare? And I'm using the blue skin of me. And then next, I go in with the prep and purify, the purifying prep hydrating cleanser. This is our favourite. And then, I'm not gonna bore you all to tears with it, but I used the Sunday Riley vitamin C, then the good jeans, and then my skin and me daily dose up. Loads of people have been asking recently what my skincare routine is. So I thought I would include it. Oh, I love having two pillars. We basically got three pillows between the two of us. And we argue every time. We get to bed. Well, who gets the third pillow? It actually feels so nice to do after a day like of makeup on non stop or getting a spot coming. And last but not least, the ACO eye cream. None of this is an ad, by the way. Don't know why I feel the need to say that, but. And. And there we have it. Quick little skincare routine before bed and we've got a date with fan pump rolls so <laughs> so this is the rare moment that i'm ready first and jamie's still sitting in his underwear so it's not really good enough if you ask me well, jamie's been seized in the morning so jamie's been seized in the morning we decided to not go to san diego um, fear of being ripped off. To be fair, it's not even that. I was feeling, feeling more of like getting kidnapped. Um, my actually, my gut instinct actually says it was legit. What? My gut tells me it was actually quite legit. Um, they can't have dodgy people like that in a theme park. Or we just look like foolish, foolish British people. So instead, the sun is finally coming out. Hopefully, we hope. Um, so we're gonna go and get breakfast. I had two breakfast places on my list of, no, I had two breakfast, breakfast places on my list of, yeah, places that I wanted to go. And one of them was Dialogue and one of them is called Jones on Third. So we're gonna do Dialogue today and then Jones on Third tomorrow. So yeah, we're gonna go to Dialogue and get some breakfast. Um, and then I think if the sun comes out, we're gonna head to Nobu. Um, in Malibu, we tried to get booked in there, um, but we don't have we actually don't have a reservation, so we're hoping that we can kind of just walk in. We've been told that, um, like on the day they get loads of cancellations, so nine times out of ten, they can just sit you. Um, so I'll let you know, not how sure about nine times out of ten, but um, and then if not, we're just gonna wander around Malibu and have a look at Malibu. I've not actually been into like the little town of Malibu. Um, my friend Emily, Emily Philpot, she recommended a place, so I think we're gonna go there as well anyway. Um, and yeah, that is our POA. I look very similar to what I did the other day. Um, just white and a grey blazer. This is like, actually has a really cute back. Let me show you. And yeah, I've just put a grey blazer over the top of it because yeah it's not completely warm yet 
I just don't know what shoes to put on with it because ideally I want sandals. Um, I just feel like, honestly, I've not worn my white Yeezys for ages and then this trip I've just rinsed the life out of them just because they're so comfy. We went with New Balance in the end. Sorry. Bit of a rogue decision. But if you think all of my outfits are very similar, they are. I won't take offense to that. Um, right. And the aim was to get out for 10. It's now four minutes to 11. Ready? Yeah. Let's get out of here. Made it. I really like it in there. It's my first time. And I think it's really cute in there. We'll see what the food is saying. But I've heard a fantastic bit. things. Maybe a coffee first. Is that yeah. on me? Is that on me? Yeah, on you. I've never been here before, so we'll see what the food is saying. But it's really, really cute in there. It wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting more of a cafe. Were you? I was expecting um, more of like uh, a little cafe, but it's like sh a shop in there. Like they're selling like fresh bread, cakes, juices. Yeah, it's more of a shop than it is a you cafe. You can take out like loads of people are coming in to like pick up sandwiches and stuff. I got the short rib sandwich with a side of hash brown. And what did you get, omelette? I got no, I got a granola bowl. Mm. Healthy, healthy. I meant for a run this morning, so I didn't want to just pile it, it, pile it straight back on. And then we both got a latte. Was yours iced or hot? Hot. hot. I got an iced latte and an orange juice. So, Jones Cafe. Jones, go, jo, no. Jones, Jones on, on third. third. Great time. Really enjoyed. Did defeat us. I only ate half of my sandwich. You ate half of your hash brown. And then we decided because the sun's not quite out yet. We decided that we'd come and do the Warner Brothers studio tour, which was on our like list of things to do. But I did kind of say like, it's probably one that could be scrapped if we run out of time. I thought we'll get that done now and then drive straight from here after the tour to Malibu when hopefully the sun is out and spend like late afternoon there just wandering around, just wandering around. Um, so yeah, we've come to do the Warner Brothers Studio Tour, which all the stri all the writers here are on strike. So as we were driving, there's just loads of people striking. Um, I mean, the strikes don't seem a lot more fun here than they do in England. They're literally just holding signs up saying like "Honk your horn." So we're driving down the road like woo. <laughs> um, who was showing support to the writers. Yeah, it's basically all the writers of all the TV programmes and films and stuff for all of like, obviously like Warner Brothers, CBS, everything like that. All of their writers are on strike. We're actually really early. We've got half, half an hour until our tour. Um, and I'm just so full of drinks. Yeah, I don't, really, I don't think we're actually gonna have any lunch. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, not after that, I'm stuffed. I think we'll just have that, see it through to. Yeah, maybe dinner? get like a snack. Dinner's at quarter to nine. Oh, Shall I tell you what I said we were going to do? What? Hike, but. I'm not going to have town for a day. Well, that's one of unless... my favourite things to do in LA as well. We'll do that tonight if Malibu's a bit. If you was to return to any of the places so far, which one would it be? Like, which one would you rush back to? What's the occasion? I know that's a really difficult question, but what's, what am I going just back a, for? Just a general holiday. You've got a week off, where are you going? Summer off, like every summer it'll be here. Yeah. I've got a week off, so it wouldn't be here because it's like. Really? It's a right journey. You'd lose two days travelling. Nah. Yeah. You don't? What? You don't, I've done it for a week before. Yeah, it takes a day to get here, but you get the time back and then you fly home at like 8 o'clock at night, you land at 6 o'clock in the morning and you've just lost a night. If I had a week, probably Miami, but just in the right time of year. Yeah, I would always come back here. Here would always be my first choice. The place is duty done to. Okay, guys, you're back on my phone because. Oh, you're back on my phone because I didn't want to bring the camera. But Jamie's already tasted his. But I've basically never got anything but coffee from Starbucks. I used to get pink drinks when I come to America, but I think they're a bit overrated. So, I'm gonna do a taste test. I've got the mango dragon fruit 
lemonade. You had the strawberry. Ooh. Jamie had the strawberry acai lemonade. What did you think of yours? Beautiful. Nice. I'm gonna try it on. Yeah. Good knock, man. Ooh. Nice. Man. Yeah, I think I do. <laughs> Shit. That lady at the desk has done you dirty. We're not gonna be able to tell. Both of them are really. Yeah, you can. Oh, you can. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Both of them are really good. Yours is like, I like sweet, but yours is maybe too sweet. Yours is like, I feel like mine's more refreshing. refreshing. Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, yours is yeah. Yours is more refreshing. Mine's more like like if you put alcohol in that, yeah. that'd be good. Hmm? Okay then. Well, if you've got a really sweet tooth, then I'd go for this one. But I've got sweet tooth though. Very yeah. Good, but this still wins for me. I wanted a refreshing drink, and that is more refreshing. Here. This is used for every single funeral with Pretty Little Liars except for the first one. Sure. That was done on location somewhere else in the city. I've gone for a matcha. I've not had a matcha in years. I used to drink them through COVID, but he went for a flat white. And mine's oh. actually called the Rachel, and you can't see it, but his is called the Ross. So you could say it on the menu. It's like it's meant to be. Hey, I actually forgot how much I liked it. Jamie said it shouldn't be green, like if he closed his eyes. It tastes green, but it's because it's really sweet, I think. But I'm sure match is supposed to be good for you. I can't remember what it does for you, but... So I left my camera in the car and we are off out for dinner we're off to catch um this is the up uh, excuse this and this we're packing to leave tomorrow so it is a shit tip really but this is the outfit i've just thrown my hair up because it was wavy from today and i didn't really actually want it down um everyone asks where these heels are from they're h&m and then this blazer, I've also got the shorts on underneath, um, is from Naked Fashion. I actually tried, I bought some new makeup today and I didn't really enjoy it. I really enjoyed the, I bought the Kosas concealer, which is actually really nice, but I also, I bought two bronzers from Makeup by Mario and they did nothing. So that's, that's good. Final night in LA. How do you feel about it? Really liked it actually. Say yeah. the weather has not been what we would have wanted. No. Been really good. I agree. Really, really good. <laughs> Second thing, don't leave the spoons inside the rug, just keep it warm, yeah, don't burn yourself, okay? Yeah. Alright, so yours, enjoy. Thank you.
What do you it say? It was on the special. It's and, and Let me tell you now, it is special. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so it's like Wagyu beef. It's basically egg fried rice with Wagyu beef. And then they it's added like, some like spices. Some and like some sausage in there, I think. Chinese sausage. And Jamie's in heaven. Like I said, there's a reason it's on the specials. It's pretty fucking special, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Get, get some more now, you. I'm glad you enjoy it. Slavering. What'd you say? Slavering. Slavering. Causing myself again. Something in the orange tells me you're never coming home. You please turn the taillights around. Wow. Well done, wow. mate. <laughs> <laughs> you killed it, son. <laughs> Good morning everyone. We have just checked out of our little apartment. All of our cases are in the back so we're hoping that they don't get nicked, basically. Uh, otherwise we're a bit screwed. More concerned about the car getting towed away to be honest. Yeah, I don't get it. We've come for breakfast at the second place we wanted to come, which is Dialogue. We were really impressed by Joan yesterday. Joan's on third. Nice. So, dialogue has a lot to live up to. What is the time? 12 now. 12 o'clock. And, and you said good morning. Oh, well, it's not good morning good afternoon. anymore. Um, and then, yeah, we've basically got about an hour and a half until we've got to head for the airport to go to Hawaii. That's exciting. We're very excited for Hawaii, aren't we? Yeah. Although I'm actually really sad to leave LA. I think it's been my favourite, like... I don't know, we've got, we've said this, we've spoken about this, and like what's been our favourite place so far, and I feel like I've been most sad to leave here. But then, yeah, I think I said, the most excited, I, because the place that I'm most excited to go is Hawaii, so it's a bit bittersweet. I think I said on a different video that it's been sick, and the weather hasn't, hasn't even been that good. Yeah, so. like we've, ha we've just had crappy weather the whole time, but... So yeah, a few bits it's of, still been few. like so good if i don't film anything else over the next hour and a half i will close this video out now um but yeah i hope you enjoyed the la vlog and next one will be hawaii see you guys in that one beautiful thanks for watching guys